Welcome ISU Anatomy students. This video will cover structures associated with the stomach. Food travels to the stomach via the esophagus, this structure here. There are six things associated with the stomach you are responsible for knowing. There are three parts of the stomach. First is the fundus. The second is the body of the stomach. The third is the pylorus, which is where the stomach meets with the first section of the small intestine, the duodenum. In addition to these three parts of the stomach, there are three features you need to learn. These are the greater curvature of the stomach, the lesser curvature of the stomach, and finally we have the pyloric sphincter, which is a muscle that controls the passage of food from the pylorus of the stomach into the duodenum of the small intestine. Please don't forget the quizzes and other supplementary resources available at your disposal. Hello, ISU Anatomy. Previously, we covered the parts of the stomach and esophagus, as shown above in this illustration. Today, I'll be going over the digestive system. The most proximal portion of the small intestine is the duodenum. It is a small, C-shaped portion. The middle section of the small intestine is called the jejunum. The most distal of the small intestine is the ileum. Now we have arrived at the large intestine. We can make a box with the large intestine. The first portion of the large intestine is this pouch-like widening referred to as the cecum. Off of the cecum is the vermiform appendix. The second portion of the box that travels from inferior to superior is the ascending colon. This corner of the box here is named for the liver, the hepatic flexure, or the right colic flexure. The next segment of the large intestine that travels from right to left across the body is the transverse colon. We turn here at the spleen, called the splenic flexure, or the left colic flexure. The next segment that travels from superior to inferior is the descending colon. Finally, the sigmoid colon makes an S shape and we arrive at the rectum. Two additional structures that are present on the entirety of the large intestine are the epiploic appendages, which are fatty tassels, and the tinea coli, which refers to three bands of smooth muscle which run longitudinally along the colon. It's been real, and it's been fun, and it's been real fun. Come back again for more ISU Anatomy. ISU Anatomy. In this video, we will be covering the accessory organs of the digestive system. The largest organ we can see in the upper right quadrant of the abdomen is the liver. The liver produces bile which is stored in the gallbladder. The gallbladder sits inferior and posterior to the liver. This next organ is the pancreas. The pancreas sits deep to the stomach and is nestled up against the duodenum. It is responsible for secreting digestive enzymes into the duodenum. Here we have the spleen. The spleen sits posterior in the abdomen and superior to the left kidney. The spleen filters and recycles red blood cells and stores white blood cells. This concludes our overview of the digestive system. Don't forget to check Moodle for assignments and additional resources. Happy studying!